Now, when is Steve Cohen going to start spending some of this money? Well, it's still I, early. I, wait, it's still early. Still I early. Mean, Charlie Morton already left. I mean, like, what are we doing? Well, that's the doing one here? guy, I really. Mean, we do have some money. We're supposed to be spending some money. Are we Are we going to be careful, or are we going to start spending it? Well, there I was that one report. How much money we have. Yeah, it's $14 billion that Steve Cohen has, right. so it really doesn't matter how much money he's going to spend because he's not trying to make money on the Mets, right. as we have said. So, yeah, the Charlie Morton thing happened, and the Braves' rotation from top to bottom is great. And when you look around the division, I mean, the Phillies totally underachieved, but that's a good roster there, We're too. screwed. The Nats are still a good team. Of course, they had a bad year, but they won a championship. And the Marlins, oh, by the way, made the playoffs last year. So the division, they got some good teams in that division. The Mets need to improve. And there was that one ESPN report yesterday that said that the Mets, as we've been talking about, are doing a little pick-two situation where they're going to pick two out of the big stars that are there, and two of them will be on the Mets. And those stars are George Springer, good. JT Rio Muto, good. Francisco Lindor, very good. Trevor Bauer, those oh, are the guys. Four of them. Right. Those are the what guys. Are you saying they're going to take two out of those pick four? Pick two. A little pick no, no, two no, no. action. I want four of those guys. You're not going to get four out of the matter? four. What does it matter? It's not my money. It's I understand. Money. But I just don't believe that Sandy Alderson and Steve Cohen are going to get everybody available in Why this not? year. Because that's not how you do business. No, you know that. just to do business. Well, not, not everybody. They did a one year in 2009 where they got everybody. Right. When they got I mean, like, when you give somebody $332 million, that's like getting everybody, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. No, it is. And there's only a few teams that could do that. The Mets are now one of those teams oh, that, the Mets are that can do teams, that. Yes. But, yeah, I mean, I would get excited about who they're bringing in, and it's got to be the right two. You know, I have soured on Bauer a little bit. Because of last year, he was great. There's no doubt about it. He won the Cy Young. He deserved every bit of it. But as we pointed out many times, he was pitching against the worst teams in baseball. Yes, and you look at the entirety of his career. Right. That's why Jacob DeGrom should have won another Cy Young. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, last year, Bauer earned it. But it's not. you don't base the Cy Young on the previous years. You base I, I, it on that I, I'm year. Just saying, no, well, I'm telling you that he, J- Jacob DeGrom came in third anyway. But he, play, he played in a much tougher division. You think that's when this is all going to start happening, Jerry? Or what do you think? When these free agents legitimately start signing? I know Charlie, well, Charlie Morton signed, signed know, yesterday. But I'm just like, when the big deals come, it's usually, isn't it usually around Christmas time? It can be. It can be. And it, it was be. also that off season a couple of years ago where guys didn't sign until the end of February. Right. So yeah. this might be one of those years because not a lot of guys are going to get a bunch of offers. I mean, the Mets may wait it out for a while to get a guy on a discount as opposed to hey, just oh, jumping in. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Whoa, they may. The, whoa, whoa, with the discount nonsense. They may. I'm not worried but about still, discounts. You know, don't that, overpay. Hey, don't hey, overpay. Hey, if you want them to overpay for a guy. Don't guys? overpay. Are you guys out of Can't your Can't overpay no, for a guy. No, hey, no. You don't hey, bid against yourself. Hey, right. Hey. 100%. We're oh, right about what are this. We, are we talking about the new Mets or the old Mets? I'm still, talking about not bidding against yourself. Still want to do smart business, don't you? Are you talking about the new Mets or the old Mets? How do you think that point seventy two, the hedge fund thing that Steve Cohen has been running, has been so successful? Yeah. Because he does dumb business? No, he does smart business. No, he bought this business. Not to make money, but to write off Still taxes don't want to and of that nature. But you know what? Let's get aggressive. Let's go. Let's go get the people yeah. we want. Hey, look, I don't want to hear any more about money with the Mets. I don't want to hear about it. But you still don't, don't want to no, just hand the guy the money if no one else is bidding for him. I mean, him. listen to you guys talk. I'm a, I'm a G. You can't be stupid about this right. either. Exactly. Hey, look, I'm, we sit here and we talk about financial decisions Left and right for all of these organizations. If you're getting the, the player, don't you want to get them on a contract that's better than the one where you're overpaying, that's an albatross if things don't work out, regardless of who you are? I don't care how much money you have. Uh, you guys, as long as you get the player. Last time I checked, the Rays were in the World Series. I don't care. All I want. You should care. I want Real Muto. I want George Springer. i got to be honest. And I want De- G- DJ LeMay. I pass that's on Real Muto. That's what I want. Oh. See, I'm, I'm actually I'm the guy who's passing on Bauer now. I don't like him. I'm real moto. Oh, I do guys like. Are unbelievable. Well, how about I want, this? Go get Lemayu. Yeah. Yes. I know. Thank Boomer's you, been saying that, but I don't think that'll happen. All right. So Why you like that happen? Yeah, because the Yankees are going to keep him. They're going to do well, whatever it takes to keep him. Oh, you think so? I do believe so. Well, you know, make them make them do everything. Make they them can. sweat. Man, no, make them pay him more. They may. They might do and that. And then this way you can go somewhere else, and then yeah. the Yankees are out of it. I, I, you're misunderstanding. I'm not saying don't go after him. I just don't think it's gonna. he's going to end up Listen a man. you guys. You guys are so conditioned now. See, I, I, Wrong. I, I, Wrong. No, 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 no. You're Wrong. Also, I'm the one who you changed you or your opinion about, on this. You guys Wrong. are talking about no, money now stop. all of a sudden. Like, no. It doesn't matter. No. It's money. I got a good uh, analogy for you. You like riding a bike, right? 
I love it. So you, those Cannondale bikes are wonderful yes. bikes. Yeah, thank you. So what if you go in yeah. to buy a new Cannondale bike, Okay. and one day it says, right, this Cannondale bike is $3,000 today. Okay. But if you wait two weeks, Black this Friday. same Cannondale bike... Black Friday. Is going to be $1,500, and you get, and no one else is going to come here and get it. 50% off. So, uh, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to wait to the 50% off. Okay, this is what I'm trying to say with these free agents. Yeah, but there could be a chance where you still get the guy, but you wait a little bit longer. You're going to lose these guys. You're not going to lose them. If you end up losing them, then that's a bad job. Just keep hearing how much money we have. But don't just jump into the pool if you're bidding against nobody. We're going to be a big market team now. And they will. They will be. They are. Okay, all right. They will be. But listen to you guys talk about, like, like, you really care about, oh, Robinson can know. Now we got an extra $20 million. Doesn't matter if he's playing or not. Uh, that's we, a different we, we argument. We have an extra $100 million. It's a totally different argument. What we're saying is sensible. And you're not being sensible. Oh, I, I'm just make sure they're here. That's all I'm telling you. Well, don't, be, will... don't be sitting here telling me that, you know, we're not, we can't afford somebody. I never more. said the that. Detroit Tigers gave somebody yeah. four years. Hey, as I never said game. that. <laughs> hey. All right. <laughs> Let's relax, everybody. Uh, Saturday's game between hey, Wisconsin we're the and... the biggest right. game in town right now. We're? Yeah, the Mets. Okay. Gotcha. How are we not the biggest game in town? Because the we is still got it. We got to back off of that. Why would we have to back off I of don't that? know. I just... That's always one of those things. But the we. I don't like the we. You do that with the Rangers. That's enough. Yeah. The we is... The, you're not a we. Especially since you've claimed to be a Yankee fan over the right. last I am not years. a Yankee fan. How right. many times do I have to tell you that? Well, if Eddie was here, he'd play the clip. Yeah, I mean, I have... There, there are parts of the Yankees that I do admire and I respect. There is no question about that. The history, the legacy, I get all of that. And it's something that, you know, you, you come to appreciate when you live here because you get hit over the, the head with a sledgehammer. Sure. And you, you understand that. And uh, But now, we are the big boys in town. We. Still with the way. We're the players. We're the players. I'm telling you. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the red bell so you're notified when we have new content.